but yeah, like I would, it's a lot of self-reflection, I think. And also just looking around your, um, at your peers, because like it or not, um, and you may not under believe in this in yourself or not, whether you're someone that's streaming just for fun versus somebody, you know, like you, Ben, or someone who's been, who does this as their livelihood and their income, you know, the full spectrum, I think is, is fair to include in this. Every content creator is a peer and some people may be doing it a little bit differently or better than you, or have been putting in more time or have just had more success, but that doesn't mean you're not still in the same peer space. You are right. So yeah. That means you can learn from these people too, whether that means from direct lines of communication or even just from observing too. You know, um, even when I was, you know, learning in um, in film and TV, every movie and TV show and every piece of video was something that I could learn from. You know, whether like uh, totally, yeah, like one of my favorite movies is um, the Secret Life of Walter Mitty with Ben Stiller because that mm. movie one really, you know, moving to me on like a on a human personal level. But the way that they did wide shots in that movie, like just shattered my brain. Like it made me rethink like, dude, wide shots are sexy. I need to figure <laughs> out how to do wide shots more and make them like really, really just like a picture. And like for the next like couple years, like I intentionally was trying to do prettier, wider shots because I just felt inspired by that one film. And so I would try to translate that too to how you're looking at your peers what do you enjoy? What's the kind of content that you consume? What kind of voice do you want to have? Are those married? Are they different? Um, hmm. But a lot of it is self-reflection on, you know, how can you adapt something to you as well? Like, you know, what do you, what do you honestly want to do? You know, do you want to make skits and stuff like that? Or do you want to just take really dope, like Peter McKinnon photos of things? And if so, yeah. then like go for it, just try. I think a lot of it too is, you know, you got to shoot your shot, you know, for like, every like hundred shots you're going to take, maybe only a couple hit, but you need to take those hundred. The reps are going to help you. Yeah, I can, I completely agree with that. Getting started also helps you refine your goals so fast because you could sit there and talk yourself in and out of everything a like oh, yeah. hundred times. But once you do it, you're going to go, you'll have hard evidence. You'll go, Ooh, that felt like shit or like, <laughs> Oh, I didn't like that. Um, but okay. I mean, like I, I've been doing this for 10 years, right? Like there's definitely pieces of content I put out there with sponsored or otherwise, where I was like, man, uh, that could have been better, uh, <laughs> you know, because you, it takes, it takes time. We all yeah. like you, you learn what works, you learn what doesn't, and you have to be able to take risks. Yes. And I think that, 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 that initial risk of just getting started and risking only, only your time. It's just your time. Like you, you, I know you like you don't have an infinite amount of it. Yeah. But um, you know, it's worth investing time in yourself and learning what you like. That I guess I I always think like there's a positive on the other side of every negative experience, right? Uh, when it comes to making content, uh, like that worked, that didn't work. Now I know. So mm -hmm. the time investment will always garnish learnings for you, regardless of whether or not it's the thing you want to repeat. So I, I'm, I totally agree there.